Hello my lovelies. Oh, box. Came yesterday, but I was going to the dentist. Oh, introduce myself. Helen, aka Sprite966. Everywhere. And of course I'm drinking Diet Coke. Just had my lunch. I've done my wee unboxing, but before I start, just to let people know, uh, there was really sad news for the podcast world yesterday. My friend Kaz, for the wee so-and-so, put a pop, put a wee note out on YouTube and on Instagram uh, that David had passed away. And what a shock. I met Kaz and David, David up at Pear Festival a couple of years ago. And David is such a nice guy. And the last time I seen Kaz's video, they were putting on Wendy's. And then she put that post up, I'm gobsmacked. Uh, um, I have no words. I, I went straight through when I seen the post yesterday morning, I went straight through and I said to Gary and I went, oh my god. You went, what is it, what is it? And I went, David's passed away and he's like, you know, he's like, who? <laughs> and I just went and I showed him and I said, that's a, and it, I just needed to say Ranger supporter and <laughs> that was enough for Gary. But, oh. So Kaz, if there's anything that anybody can do, don't hesitate to contact us. There's a whole community out here waiting to support. Um, so I just I just wanted everybody to know. So that was Kaz from the wee so and so. Everybody knows her. She's Gardner's cottage yarn as well. So that that must have been a huge huge shock to her. I know it was to quite a lot of people. Um, they say I only met David once, but he's such a lovely man, such a lovely man. Right, on to my unboxing. So, uh, on Instagram, excuse me, um, I seen that the Knit Network had Emu yarn back in. I've been, I don't know how long, I haven't seen Emu yarn for. I, I used to see the emu patterns, I think I've actually still got a couple uh, my mum's and uh, this little uh, emu yarn coming back a uh, one fifty nine a ball for it's acrylic yarn so I went their website and I had a look and I had uh, some pennies to spend so I got enough for to uh, make a blanket and I thought well that's a, one way to try out the yarn, I'll get a blanket, it's worth a, see how I like it and things like that. Um, and then I noticed that they had mystery bags, I've been watching a few mystery uh, uh, unboxings and unbag, wagons. Um, oh, does he sound right, unbaggings? Um, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But, um, and, some of the reviews are great, some of them are not so great, but I thought I'd try it and see if I like it. So my mystery yarn, it came in this bag inside the box. And as I say, there's nothing in this flat of pancake now because I opened it because <laughs> I couldn't wait. And I was going to the dentist and then when I got back to the dentist I was kind of tired and you know I was that tired about my bed at heart. 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock p.m. And apart from getting up to the loo a couple of times, that was me right through to 9 o'clock this morning. And at 9 o'clock, when I actually woke up and got up, I could have actually just turned around and went back to sleep. I'm so tired. But beside the point, so on the top of the my yarn was on the top and then the mystery bag was in the bottom and this was tucked down the side 
and I thought, oh, how cute, a little baggy. So it's like two mystery bags. <laughs> and I thought, how cute, this is your free sample. I didn't know it was going to be a free sample. So inside you get a little 25 gram ball of yarn. And this is a uh, orchid. 125 emu yarn and you know it's so soft <laughs> it's this really 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 soft I don't I was I've done, I've done my blanket there with the, the hayfield bonus and this is oh this is so much nicer sorry Zardar and you got a sticker oh uh, let, let your gravity run wild. Go wild. Go wild with the wool. <laughs> so I just thought that, that, that tickled me. And also, I got a free bag. <laughs> so that is well chuffed. I did read on the site that they had some free but uh, the, the bags, but when they're gone, they're gone, sort of thing. And I thought, oh, they'll probably all be gone. But ah, I got one. Ooh. Right, so I'm going to do the mystery bag first and show you what came out. And I, I was actually very pleased. I haven't priced it up to see, but it's a fair amount of money for your year, eleven ninety nine. So there was two balls of the Snuggly Heirloom. Third Earth Snuggly Heirloom. And this nice, I don't even know if the colour's there. It's a kind of yellowy, honeycomby, I would say. I don't know if there's a colour, it's got just shade 550. And there's two, so that's 50 grams. So I don't know what I'll do with that, but... So soft. And what's the content of this? Oh, excuse me, I'm getting into my head. 90 wool, 10 nylon, but it's soft for wool. Yeah, knee jag, jaggy prickle factor there. Now, I know they're more than £2 a ball. So, don't exactly know how much they are for this. But anyway, so there was two of them, so I like that straight away because I love this colour. And then there was two balls of the, the sorry, 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 and that's 100 grams. So I've got a hat or even a nice cow. Look at that. I think I might be a cow. Acrylic wool, nylon and polyester. So it's 36 acrylic, 30 wool, 30 nylon and 4% polyester. And there's two, I don't know if there's a shade, crystal blue. And it's very glittery. I think that's an iron weight, isn't it? It's an iron. So you could really do a, a nice worsted weight hat, iron weight hat. That might actually make an idea. A nice hat for the winter. Mm. So I've got plans for everything, I think. So then there was this. And I'll be, I was going to get some green to do my son a alligator for the pika pow. I mean, this is a bit brighter than normal, but that that'll definitely be toys, washcloths. No, I'm not sure if it's a three, three, a three and a half, so it's a lot of four ply. No, it's no slick as a double nut, so maybe a worsted weight. So it's a uh, the. the sh Sheep G's, Sheep J's, Sheep E's, a cocktail. So this is a Sardar Sheepies, I would call it Sheepies, right? Um, I heard it pronounced on a podcast the other day or an advert. Yeah. Um, my dog Glasgow accent, my Irish mother, so... My accent's not very the best, but <laughs> so these that these will be toys washcloth, 
and I love I love green. So then there was two balls of the Olifante, so it's basically an elephant. And it's 50 grams, so that's 100 grams, so another mitts, hats, scarf added to a colour work. Now what, what, does it say, what does it say about this? It's 100% acrylic. And they must have quite a lot of colours in that. Um, what needles is it? What does he say? Oh, two to three millimetres, so it's a four ply. But ain't that lovely? That's a beautiful, rich colour. For me, this is my first mystery bag, and I'm well pleased. Definitely, definitely would get it again. No, obviously, to the same place, but um, or maybe later on in the year when they've got different yarns. Because obviously it must be yarns maybe like that they haven't sold well or they've got leftovers. Now this must be a sheepies as well. Um, Marcoma. And it's in Kleur. It's K-L-E-U-R. It's a beautiful bottle. Dark green. And it's so, so soft. It's 100% acrylic. But oh my god, it's squishy. And again, I think that's a 3.5 to a 4 millimetre. I think that's maybe coming out of sport. Uh, to me, it's like a sport. It's like a sport weight. But, oh, what are they, 50 gram balls? Aye. So, Very pretty. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> Even though no, that's, that's a wee bit thicker, I think. I don't know right enough. Put that and that together. So there's a different makeup. Oh, well pleased with my study bag. So I would recommend that. It was 11, I think it was eleven ninety nine, so twelve pound, and there's. Basically a powder ball. And then you get this shade card, only in a thick network. I love the ball bands, they're so cool. So I got it. It's called the Phoenix, it was a pack, and I got two extra white. So uh, these are the two extra white I got. Now this is 100% a, a premium acrylic. It's made under license. Made under license in Turkey. Um, the ball band, it's just white and silver. It's just lovely. Four millimeter needle, 308 yards, 282 meters, and this is soft. You c that I would be able to put that on a baby, no problem. It's that soft. So this is going to be one squishy blanket, whatever they decide to use, do with it. So, there's all the colours for the Phoenix. This was the whole pack. So you got a white. Another 100 grams, classic DK. That one's not as soft as the white. That one's soft. That's a, 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 Different dyes make different yarns. The, the same yarn feel different. Um, this colour we is a tiger. Pumpkin. Love these reds. Ruby. Garnet. The box on there. It's just my bit of paper. Lemon, corn silk. Isn't that lovely? That'd be nice in a cardigan.
lemonade, sunburst, even that's lovely, and this is nice as well, this is Dijon. So I would definitely, definitely, for, for acrylic yarn, for acrylic yarns, I would definitely recommend it. One fifty nine a ball, net network. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's going to be a blanket. I haven't decided which one yet. Sorry, I'm kind of leaning off short. Um, I haven't decided which one yet. But I have a feeling it might be the new bobble one. It's a uh, Sue Rollins summer one. I'm not a uh, hundred percent sure, but. Oh, that was a delightful box, because when Gary said it was a box, I was like, a box? <laughs> Don't you think I'd order that box, Sharon? Um, so, well pleased with my, my mystery box, is right, my mystery bag, and my wee freebies, so, hey. Happy days. Oh, this is so soft. I'm going to hold that up, so just in case she... Marcoma. Absolutely. Oh, so so soft. So there you go. Yarny goodness all round. Well, big box of yarn. <laughs> like I need another ball of yarn. But I'm going to that acrylic is so soft I'm going to do Gary's hoodie and the the Montrealer. I'm going to get the red, white and blue and date again because I was looking on the... It pills terribly. It, every time he wears it, just he's, it's only five minutes and if he's sitting and he's moving his arm because he's like, he plays his game on his phone and it's constantly fluffing up and it stretches look and then I've got to put it in the dryer to shrink it and where it is with the acrylic well I can just bung it in the machine hang it up and it'll be dry and it will only stretch out of shape I only need to put it in the dryer to pull it back up into shape. So I would definitely, um, aye, I would say definitely, definitely worth it. So, uh, we're really pleased with my, my wee baggie. It's your creativity run wild. So I went in my last crochet society box coming, but we got an email the other day saying it's going to be the, nearly the middle of June before it gets here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I'll have anything else coming for a while, but you never know. Why eat when you can get mystery boxes? <laughs> but I'm, in, I'm still diamond painting away, listening to my books. Um, Going to fix my shelf in my room. If I ch uh, make it any like a wee altar kind of thing, I'll show you. I'll get a photograph and show you. But anyway, that's it. I've got uh, things to be crocheting, things to be knitting, books to be listening to, getting this uploaded. And I need to speak to Jane because I was going to phone her yesterday, but um, I was so tired when I got back to the dentist and my hip was so sore for walking. So I'll see you all later. Hopefully I should be back next week with some finished objects. If not, I'll just show you my progress. So I'm going to try and pop in once a once a week, maybe once a fortnight, and we'll see what happens. So hopefully I'll see you all next week. Love you all and take care. Bye.